Hi guys, it's Alison. Um, I just want to share with you um, a couple of um, things that I've been um, working on, playing with lately. A um, couple of uh, journals that I've um, made to put in my Etsy store. These are sort of like the, um, what do you call them, junk journals, um, remain of the day journal type thing with lots of um, sewn pages and pockets and things like that so I'll have a, a quick flick through of these um, as I say there's all sorts of things in here envelopes and um, old invoices and letters and maps and plastic pockets and scrap paper pockets like that old um, books there's an old envelope there with the clear pocket there so that's one it's got loads of I won't go through every single page but that's an idea of um, the sort of journals that I've been or one of them and that's got um, an elasticated closure <coughs> then the other one I've made um, has got a different closure but yet again similar sort of things in it scrap paper envelopes pockets maps fold out bits and say various different uh, bits and pieces so there's quite a fun um, journal to, to, to use goes pop it there. Um, this has got a little lift up envelope there. So so these are just quick flip flip through for you just to show you them so I've made a couple of those and then um, another journal I've made um, is um, similar sort of, well similar sort of cover in that but this is um, to be used as an art journal uh, and this has just sort of a, a very smooth um, sort of cardstock paper type um, which is really nice for for using for, with paints and inks and then it's interspersed with um, watercolour paper so you've got a cho an option of of um, two different sort of formats that you can use so that's that one uh, and then I'll, I'll show you um, this is one that I made that I've been using and this is how I I've sort of found that um, this sort of the papers that I've used in here you know, we're, we're just right for um, for taking the paints and inks and things. Now, um, this is something that I've just started playing with. I've really been admiring everyone's art journaling and I thought I'd like to have a go myself. But I was hoping to get a bit of advice because you'll see that when I show you, my pages aren't complete. I've done been playing with techniques and things like that. This was watercolour pencils and I've washed it with, with um, water over the top to give it a, a watery colour effect and stamped and things. But um, this is something I've, I've used um, inks and then I sprayed water onto um, a... Um, Sort of template and pressed so it's sort of given an effect where the butterfly is but that was it's sort of like a negative effect where the waters disperse the color and obviously I've added some um, um, transfers and that and I had a go at doing um, uh, ink transferring where you have the paper and you use the uh, gel medium and that ink, ink tra uh, transfer image, image transfer I think it's called 
as I say I've just been having a play but as you'll see none of my pages really are finished this is sort of you know using um, sort of stencils and things and um, cut out paper this is um, it's gesso but I used on the ends of a cotton reel so that as I brought it up it's added texture um, I've used sort of glimmery paints here and, and that this one say spraying over um, different templates and then flipping it over to give you your reverse pattern and things like that playing with paints putting it on in different ways um, this one, um, as I say, all different techniques. I've melted um, with a heat gun some of my um, oil pastels and given the splodges and flicked it and all sorts. I've used washi tape and, you know, but as I say, I can't seem to get beyond. There's another one, um, you know, sort of a. A complete you know be, end up with a completed page I'm still practicing with all the techniques um, this was an image transfer again I've used um, paper and um, things like that um, oh yeah this one I used some um, texture paste on here mixed with some color I don't know if you can see it but it's you know as I say have been playing with techniques but I really like to push myself a step further and um, actually produce some finished pages and I don't seem to be able to get beyond what I'm doing so um, I think this was one of the first ones even then I still don't feel that it's finished but I'm not sure really where to take it from from here yet again a lot of blanks area this is a background but and this is just um, prepared gesso ready and this is obviously just an old book that I've um, found that I thought I'd have a go with just as a starting point so um, anyone that does already do um, art journaling and that if you can sort of give me some advice on how I can now go and push I mean I've watched people's videos and that but I just can't seem to get I seem to be stuck at the background stage and, and can't push myself forward. Um, I guess I'm not co as confident, a per, you know, as an art. I'm not uh, confident as an artist. I don't feel that I can actually things. So, but I just, you know, as I say, I seem to have come to a bit of a, a block with it all. So, um, yeah, I'd appreciate any any um advice and um yes yeah, so or comments thoughts whatever and um i mean i know I'm, I'm having fun with it but uh i would really like to be able to take it that next step forward so uh yeah well thanks for watching and um as i say any comments will be appreciated and um hopefully i'll be back soon with um something a bit more complete to share with you Thanks for watching. Bye.